Hi, folks, and welcome back uh, to part three of our Getting Started with NetFoundry Zero Trust Networking. Today's lesson is going to be on creating an edge router for an on-prem implementation. On this example, we'll be doing a VMware ESXi example and installing our image that we have right uh, from our main website and, um, uh, and getting it uh, installed as a, you know, an OVA file. So um, pretty much the next step in this is uh, you know, step D. So we've already done A, B, and C. So we're going to be building a VM with our image in uh, a simulated uh, data center uh, implementation. So you say, what does that look like? So if we come back over here, and we'll go to um, right here. And just to recap what we have done. So um, we've gone through, we've built the network. We've built three routers. We've got our, our fabric routers that provide the transit. And then we did build the AWS in last, uh, our last um, session. So we have all of them are registered, good to go. So now the next step is just to build the third, uh, the third router. So let's go ahead and create that guy. So we'll create that. We'll call this um, um, data center edge router. We don't need an attribute. This one again will be customer hosted. We will hit create. Now we'll go through the process with um, actual uh, VMware. So I wanted to point out also that uh, all of our software can be downloaded from netfoundry.io downloads. So if you have anything from our endpoint software, um, ZD Desktop Edge for Mac, we have Windows, we have a Docker um, tunneler that we can also implement. It's kind of a, another uh, lesson altogether. We have Linux tunnelers, we have uh, Mobile Edge, and we have for iOS as well as Android. And this is our SDK. If you want to learn how to put our SDK into uh, your you know, software, if it's an open source or homegrown software, you can take a peek at this and learn how to put it in your software uh, all by itself. And as far as our edge routers, all of our cloud um, images are right from the direct from the marketplaces in each of the clouds. Um, uh, we have a few others for like DigitalOcean, and we also have something for Linode, um, and then ESX, the Hyper-V, KVM, and then we have VirtualBox. So this example is going to be KVM, so essentially you can download that OVA right here and uh, save it to your, your machine, and you know, so I have a couple already in there, so... Um, that's how that works. You can get right there from netfoundry.io slash downloads. Now, um, one thing we will be following along in this particular uh, exercise is edge routers. So we'll go to docs and guides from our NetFoundry support website, come down to edge routers, and then we'll follow along and run the edge router VM on your own equipment. You follow this guide, it kind of gives you, um, we have sizing guides as well for testing. You don't really have to follow all that stuff, but if you're inputting it in production, you've got to get a feel for the size, the amount of CPU and memory you might need for, um, you know, a certain amount of sessions, you know, based on hundreds of, um, you know, a thousand or more type sessions or con uh, connections. Um, kind of, let's just go follow through this and, um, get this going. So this will take a little while. So we'll get it started. Then we'll uh, pause and get right back at it. So as you can see, I have a uh, VMware ESXi 6.0 up and running. And we want to create and register a VM. So we'll hit create new virtual machine. And I'll call this skip demo. Edge router. Router data center. It will be 6.0, we will do Linux, and we will do Ubuntu 64. So we run our image on, we will hit next. I'll have a data store right there where I'll store everything. Got a little bit of capacity left on that. Um, I'll give it just, um, I'll give it two gig of memory. I'll give it um, eight gig of uh, hard disk for now. I'll leave everything kind of default right here. I do. Uh, yeah. So then we'll come back here to CD, uh, CD DVD drive. I'll come to 
um, no, no, it's not what I'll do. I messed it up. Sorry, guys. So what we're going to do, I meant to say we are going to create a re register VM through OVA. So we're going to go through OVA and we'll hit um, skip demo edge router. Come back over here, search for that. I have my VMware image right there. I hit next. I'll store everything in that data store. And that VM network is fine. I'll do thin provisioning. I'll hit next. And I'll hit finish. So that uh, that particular machine will take, uh, you know, a good, uh, I'd say eight minutes or so to build. Uh, and then it will uh, reconvene after this brief pause. Okay, so it looks like this has been completed. This edge router. So here he is. Um, looks like he's taken some errors because I need to remove the floppy disk controller from the config in the hypervisor. Not a problem. There, now we'll log in. Default logon is Ziggy. And he makes you get a new password. So we'll go ahead and give it a new password. There we go. So now we see my IP address right there. And for the ease of this exercise, what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll uh, SSH to him. He is on my LAN, so I'll just SSH to him uh, directly so I can copy and paste. And he is uh, SSH, Ziggy, and I'm trying to make this bigger. I think it's pretty bad right now, so we'll go text. And we will make this larger. 14, how's this? Save, there we go. Ziggy at 192.168.1.171, I believe we saw there. Yeah, right there. And then we will go right into that. I'll say yes. There, now I can close this guy down and good. All right, so now we have the, the guy built here. So we can just do IPA just to confirm our uh, interface name is EMP3S0. And then we can do IP link, same thing. Good, and I'm just gonna make this a little wider. There we go. All right, so I'll put that over here. We'll run through this guy as soon as we get him. All right, so um, so really what we want to do is uh, it, it, we can leave it on DHCP. So if you, if you wanted to not have it on DHCP, we have to run through this, disable the cloud init to have it a hard, uh, you know, hard IP to make it a static IP. So what we do is we, we disable DHCP, then we set a, a net plan config that, um, gives it its IP and associated addresses and uh, for default gateways uh, and names, uh, like domain names, you might put yourcompany.com here if you have a search domain that, you know, you might ping things by name with, so, or access by name. So that's where you, where you set all that up. So let's get into that right here, okay. Okay, so where did I put that right here? Okay, good. All right, so let's go ahead and make it a static IP 171. So we'll go through that. We'll copy this and put it in there. Okay. Uh... 
There we go. And we will create the static config right here. So copy this guy. And we'll put that in here. Copy all of this. There. Okay, so I will put these back here. Put my default. And I could put, if I want, I can put a cloud DNS right there. Yeah. Okay. I don't need a search domain. I will put my default gateway in there, 192.168.1.1. I will put my IP in here, 192.168.1.171, and that looks good. That interface, uh, oops, that interface is correct, good. And get out of that, save him. One thing I like to do is also disable IPv6 in this configuration. So I will go over here. and get rid of all that IPv6. And you can find this anywhere in Google. There. Now oh, all the IPv6 uh, is gone from this config. Then we can just do a sudo net plan apply. There, now I have a hard-coded IP, that's good. All right, um, nothing else to do. That's how you set it up uh, from, now we need to register him. So we go back to our registration. We have this registration key. We'll grab that, copy that. We'll come back into our command line, sudo router registration, copy that code and go like that. So he'll do the same thing, download the latest binary. Oh, he's still saying one more time. Let me get that guy figured out. Hold on. Okay, so let's put that back in action here. Looks like it is downloading the binaries. There we go, adding the firewall rules. I just had to run the D to disable the IPv6 after the net plan apply. Okay, so this registration is complete now. And we have uh, essentially been able to get controller running to fabric routers. We've got our AWS router and endpoint. And now we have our, uh, our data center ESX edge router and endpoint also installed. And we should be able to see that right here. Okay, come back. All right, this guy should get green here in a minute. And that will conclude this session. The next session, we will be going, um, looking at um, doing the um, client, creating the client endpoint. So until next time, we'll see you then.